you thinking of, viewers? Welcome to both of you, Federico, yeah. John. John. Thank Lovely you so to much. see you. Great Legends to be here. that you are. Guys, I've got to say, you look happier. Fresher, younger. Fresher, you do. And yes. more virile, if I may say. Thank you so much. There's a lot of virility on the couch Apparently today. we're well, taller than we look on TV. You're yes. very... How tall are you, John? I'm 6'2", he's 6'3". Yes, you're much taller than you seem. You seem stunted. Is that so? Yeah. Yes, mind you, I have had you on widescreen for the last three or four weeks, so yeah. you're sort of wider... Like, like some hobbits, that in a way. Is, uh, yeah. <laughs> is, it, is it a massive relief to be out? Huge. For, for both of you. Fed? Yeah, I think both of us can say that. I was massively relieved to yeah. be out. It is dull, isn't it, in there? It is a Incredibly dull place with dullards, uh, and it's good to be back in the civilised But are you, gl are, you glad that you, are you glad that you did it, though, Fred? Are you, are you, are you glad? I thought about it, and I would, I would have gone in uh, if I could go back, and, yeah, I'm glad I did it, but there's nothing really I take from it. Um, a couple of friends, people like John, Scott, Anishka, apart from that, very little. What will you take with, uh, from it, John? What experiences will you take? Really, we're only just starting phase three. Mm. Phase one was... An enormous... Lovely, you've worked out in phases. <laughs> yeah. John, I expect nothing <laughs> less than you. <laughs> take, take us through the phases. Yeah, Go phase one. Phase one <laughs> was doing five months of really quite hard work getting in. Yes. Phase two was being bored constantly for four weeks. And phase three is now meeting Mel and Sue on morning TV. Hey! Oh, Let's hope there's a phase four. Yeah. There's always oh, no, a phase four. Oh, yeah. I want to smell her knees later. <laughs> yeah. You smell can smell my knees, knees any time. Yeah, well, I smelled Kate Lawless. So Did you what about mine, John? Shouldn't let anybody what smell her knees? I've got bigger plans oil? for you, Mark. Do I use coconut maybe? oil? Yeah. No, I use a sort of pear moisturiser. Pear moisturiser. Ah, yeah. yeah. But, guys, when, when you heard that news, there was a lot of sort of, you know, huggy, huggy, commiseration. Oh, God, we're going to miss you so much from all the others. Do you, be, do you believe it? Do you buy it? Yeah, I think they, they realised the enormity of their mistake. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, At that moment, they thought, what have we done? We've had two interesting people out. I don't know, John. I don't know if you're right. I think there's a lot of disingenuous behaviour in the yes, house. Yes, there is. Uh, just really from the viewpoint, like, really no one wants to do anything to, to anger or antagonise anyone. So, you know, they'll be really nice when it comes when it, to being very nice, but apart from that, uh, everyone loves each other, sure. Everyone loves each other. I'd say yeah. disingenuous behaviour is also a pseudonym for Tanya, let's face it. Mm -hmm. um, Fed, you, is... said, you said she was as fake as her nails. Yeah. And John, you said she's a great girl. She said... I, well, the thing about Tanya is she's absolutely harmless. There's no way that she can win the show. Um, so mm. you might as well just treat her as good entertainment until she comes out. Okay. You know, she yes. she can't do anything. I'd agree with John. She is she is harmless. You know, she's not a wrongful, spiteful person. I, I, mm. I never I never conveyed that. But I did honestly admit that she she annoyed the danglies off me. You know. Mm. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. who's going to win now? I mean, bearing in mind the two of you were, were the, probably the biggest personalities in the house. What are we left with? Who's going to who's going to take the prize now? The we South are African the uh, founding members of the Scott to Win campaign. Oh really? Yes. yes. We're positive. He's, he is playing a, a very intelligent game. Yeah. But he's a, he is a genuine person. Yes. He's, kind of, he's a decent bloke, quiet, isn't he? He's kind yeah. of quiet, isn't he? He's not really showing... He's not as quiet. He's, he's not quiet. Yeah. He's, he's actually, not he's quiet at all. A, That's a the editing. He's a young person who, mm. who often comes out with good things, but for some reason it's, it's not been broadcast. He's got a brilliant dry wit, and mm -hmm. it just doesn't come across on camera, so they're not showing it. I, I'm f yes, wit often doesn't, doesn't often come down uh, through the Big Brother lens, actually. It sort of gets yeah. edited. It's a strange edit sometimes. Yeah, I think they really just focus on As we've discovered. Indeed, I'm sure you have. having water fights and, and yeah, and, and they're leaving behind some of the, some of the, the little intricacies of Scott. Yeah, I think yeah, I'm not, sure. I'm not being conveyed. Now you are famously, Federico, love donkeys. You yes, love donkeys. Yes, uh, Why is that? I feel they're a noble beast. They're a noble beast. That people hold them in comparison to horses, you know, and uh, and look down their noses at donkeys. But I mean, think of the of the endless amount of work that these mules have done. And yeah, I'd, I'd like to. Often, I've touted starting a donkey sanctuary in, in the East End of Glasgow. Ah, oh. well, in, as a present, this is marvellous news. We've adopted a donkey for you. You've got your own no, donkey. You've not. Uh, you've you've not. Trust. Yes, we have. No way. Uh, and your What's donkey's called Donk Dean. There donk you go. Dean. Adopt a donkey. There's your video. This um, is to certify. I want a donkey. Oh, a, we've got a picture yeah. of him. Can Show me the picture of the donkey? donkey. This is your beast, your noble beast. Oh. Have you got it? Oh! Oh, it looks like a camel. It's a sort of hybrid. It's a hybrid. That's the randiest donkey in Britain. Yeah. <laughs> well, you, you, I've seen worse. You, you've only got it for 12 months. Yeah. But at least, at least if, I, if I have a donkey, it'll be one of his that's hung like a mule. You know? yeah. <laughs> and, uh, There's yeah. your, your certificates. Okay. And um, you can go and visit and do whatever you want. There you go. That I'll donkey takes home. Thank you. Honestly, thank you. You're thank welcome. You I'm, I'm a fan of the donkey as well. Our pleasure. On your side. Stay with us, guys, please. Because after the break, our evictees here, Fed and John, will be dishing more dirt on the Big Brother Bonkers housemates. <laughs>
and uh, Big Brother Monitor, Big Brother Bonkers Monitor. My ex fiance James will be telling us who's missing them and who's glad to see the back of them. Oh, no, Cameron, don't, don't, don't worry. worry. I think I can't believe they did that. Hey, it's all right. Honestly, it's all right. 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 Well, 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 the he found a way again to get some action. Yes. No, yes. Were you a bit jelly bags at that? Uh, I'll run. Mm, yes, I'd better not say what, what I think of Cameron at the moment. He, uh, Come on, mate. Do you, do, you think he's, he's, do you think he's manipulative? Do you think he's playing a game? Yeah, either he's one of the gayest men in Britain or <laughs> he, he has kind of green blood running through his veins. He, he is a man, surely. Is he not a man? I think. So what's he doing? He might be a man, but I, I think now he's, he's playing. The, the, I think he's taking inspiration from past shows and he's trying to be the new Brian Dowling. That's, you I hit think the he's nail trying to be head. inoffensive yeah. to women. Yeah, he's, the he's, Bible he, he's everyone's gay older brother. Uh, and I think he's, he's bringing some tactics into play now, you know, by now she's his main ally. And, yeah. But I don't know, he's, he's probably not that intelligent to start using tactics, you know? Yeah. Talking of the old green blood running through the veins, green mm. blood, green fingers, John. You didn't need to explain that link. Nice because link. It, was, it was painful. Hello, it was painful to me. Loving your work. Thanks. Yes. <laughs> Thanks very, very much. Loving that. That was really strong, wasn't it? That now, segue. That was Dermot, wasn't it? It was slightly Dermot. Mm, Sorry. I, I must stop showing my tongue as well. I do apologise for that. But uh, you, you said that you missed Cyril. Who's Cyril? Who's Cyril? Cyril is a, a pot plant that I inherited off an ex-housemate's ex-girlfriend oh. and had about one leaf when I first got him and now is relatively bushy. Right. Although I have been back to my flat for about two minutes on Saturday. Yes. And Simon has rearranged Cyril um, so he takes up less room. If that's killed him or not, I'm not quite sure. Now, were you faithful to Cyril, or did you let your green fingers wander freely over other foliage? There is always room for, for more plants. You're a dirty dog. You I betrayed know, Cyril with yeah. a tomato plant. How do you think Cyril feels? He doesn't actually face the TV. He's round the corner. Yes. So, uh, yeah. And you put him there deliberately, didn't you? Absolutely. <laughs> we saw you tiny punched. We saw little you eyes couldn't see your foul, filthy work on national television. <laughs> <laughs> OK, um, this is a clip of you. Let's have a look at you uh, with some plants, flirting, playing with them. Naughty tomato plants. Why? What are they doing? If you don't... The reason I spend so long with them is if you don't thin them out, they become tomato bushes and they just produce too much fruit and it just doesn't get big enough and it doesn't ripen. Can I just say, you're a tomato dominatrix, that's what you are. Naughty plants! I'm not sure if I'm going to give you this plant, no. Pat, because you might be aggressive towards yeah. it. Well, you love it. Is it a tomato plant? This, is, not... ba this is Barbara. Barbara? <laughs> yeah. And she is a gift from us to you. I don't know what she is, because I'm absolutely rubbish at gardening. I don't know either. Who it's knows not a tomato plant, plant, is it? No. I don't know. It's just a... Come on, accept it graciously, my no, love. No, I mean, no, no. literally almost £1.99.